Okay. Yeah, it's recording. Hello and welcome back to another video. This time we're doing something a little bit different. You see, my favourite generation is Generation 4 and my favourite uh, of the main 3 Gen 4 games is Platinum. Where Max here... Say hello Max. Hello. His least favourite generation is 4 and his favourite generation is 5 and me, my least favourite generation is 5. So yeah, we're, so what we're going to do is uh, me and Max are going to play uh, side by side. Right now I wish I could have his um, gameplay up as well as mine but um, uh, OBS doesn't play well with Messenger so Max is going to create a new Skype account at some point between now and the, and the next recording session and we'll see if yeah. Skype will play nice with um, OBS and then hopefully we should then be able to get his... Um, <laughs> We should be able to get his um, game video words. I, I can't speak right now. I don't know why. Anyway, um, so uh, and then we're, I'm just going to take Max through Platinum, and um, we're going through Platinum together. And I'm going to tell him like my go through like our favorite and favorite parts about this game and some of our criticisms. Um, so this is going to be like a retrospective on the Platinum, um, which is kind of cool, um, as, well, as well as a Let's Play. Yeah. And, and you get two, uh, different, uh, two opposing opinions. One who thinks that Platinum is one of the best Pokemon games of all time, and one who does not like Platinum. No. <laughs> I was tempted to say one who thinks Platinum is the best Pokemon game of all time, and the person who has the wrong opinion. But no, anyway. Let's get this ball started. Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everybody just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you were any uh, advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. No, no if only I've played this uh, game more times than uh, I've eaten dinners. <laughs> this world is uh, widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. You don't say. Here I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you if you please, so we could show off the new touchscreen on the new Nintendo DS. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends, and uh, if you and if you play the Japan version, there's a book in uh, the library that uh, also says that humans and Pokemon used to have sex. <laughs> at times we play together, and uh, at other times we fuck <laughs> and work together. <laughs> ah, Christ. <laughs> Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop. Close your bonds with them by fucking them in the ass. <laughs> I just can't help it. They, they put, they give me too many opportunities. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Which one are you going with, boy or girl? I'm going with Dawn. Dawn, so I'll be boy then. Alright, so you're a boy. Yes, I am. Tell me, what is your name? Can I click on it? Yes, I yeah, can. Okay. Go. Um. Hmm. Where then? I'm yeah. going with the canonical name, by the way. Yeah, I'm just going with uh, uh, my YouTube name. Well, a shortened version of my YouTube name. Yeah, I'm just going to go with her canonical name of Dawn. Yeah. Your name is Gaming. Did you know there's actually a shot in the anime where you can actually see Dawn's panties? I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah. That, which is just... why? Okay, so you're gaming. 
A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? New name. See, again, I go for... I normally go for their canonical name, but because of the Let's Play, I'm going to do something else. I called him Dick. Dick, is it? Your, uh, that's your friend's name? Yes. <laughs> it's a double entendre. I, I do believe that's weird. You know, it has two meanings. Yes. Dick yes. is a name, and Dick is also a penis. Yes. I just named him after you because you're the rival. Oh. Well, I sort of named mine after you as well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright gaming, the time has come! Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will uh, discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself that you never knew. Maybe like a kink or something. Maybe you're into feet. <laughs> Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Exposition about Professor Rowan in Kanto! <laughs> Yay! Well, actually, this, this is actually quite good foreshadowing because, spoiler here, uh, Rowan is. No, no, it's no, revealed no, no, later no. on in the game that Rowan is good friends with Professor Oak. So it's actually good foreshadowing there. Plus in Diamond and Pearl, isn't there a documentary on the uh, Red Gyarados? Yes, that would not surprise me. Also, Hagor and Soul Silver confirmed! <laughs> Yay, dead memes. Um, Dick, there you are! Hey gaming, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Rowan is uh, that uh, real important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we That's ask him that... Pen? No, he only has three. Yeah, so if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Yeah, get the fuck off it. Uh, no. Where was I? All oh, right, right. We're going to go see Professor Owen and get some Pokemon. I'll be watching out, waiting outside. Not watching. Well, they could be watching for, like, Starly, the best beard, uh, regional beard ever. Okay, gaming, if uh, you're late, I'm finding you 10 million Poke Yen. Yes, because that's definitely an amount that can be possible. Yeah, uh, well, actually, you could probably get that, to be honest, if you grind a shit ton. Anyway, um, I want to mention here, just in case anybody uh, does it, doesn't already know this, but um, Generation 4 was the first Pokemon game to not limit your inventory. Uh, meaning you don't have to store items in the PC. The problem with that is, if I if I cannot if my voice doesn't crack for a minute, if I go to the PC, there's no potions in it anymore. Rip PC potion. Something the Gen Four did badly. Well, no, because there would be no. like all the potion in the PC. There would be no need for item storage in your PC if you have unlimited storage in your bags, which is. Probably one of the best things Gen 4 introduced. Yes, but they got rid of the free potion at the beginning of the game, which is really useful at some point. You can be very Most of the time it's not though, like, it can be useful, but most of the time it's not, because by the time you're probably going to use it, you can already buy potions. Yes, but what if you broke, and you've only got that one potion? Then you're a shit gamer. Mom, gaming! Dick already left. I don't know what it is about, what, uh, what it is, uh, what it was about, what, uh, but he uh, was uh, in the hurry. You could say that Dick is very energetic. Well, most people would say that. <laughs> oh yes, gaming. Don't go into the tall grass, wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so, well, take care, sweetie. Snow! Fud! Dick ran uh. into me! What was that about? Oh, hey gaming! 
Hey, I'm going to see Professor Owen. You should uh, come uh, too and quickly. Dick, oh geez, forgot something. You better give me something useful. Oh, um, Hello, I'm Mrs. Dick. Dick. I'm it's Dick's mom. Oh, hi, gaming. Are you looking for Dick? He's gone for a second, but then he uh, came running right back. He just <coughs> can't sit still, that Dick. I wonder who uh, who he takes after. Hmm. Dick can't sit still, can he? <laughs> it, it better tell you, I'd better take my bag and journal too. Oh, hey, gaming. I'll uh, be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million uh, pokey yen fine if you're late. Also, something else I forgot to mention. We have the new Nintendo Wii! <laughs> oh god, that brings back memories. The Wii store's closed now, forever. Rip. You're too slow! All right, let's get moving. To Professor Ed's lab. Pardon? I think he turned into Sonic for a second. <laughs> yeah. What? Don't go into the grass, right? No worries, it's no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild the Pokemon jump out at you uh, when you go into tall grass? So what you need to do is Scooch over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. It's genius! As if Barry just instantly stops. Yeah. If we uh, just uh, keep dashing, oh, then we can get into uh, Sand Gem Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes. On your marks. Hold it! There's no way he stopped perfectly there. He would have fell face first into the grass. Yeah, and then he'd get his face pecked off by a Starly. The only useful thing a Starly would ever do. Fuck you. Um, I actually considered getting a Starly. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hey, gaming. This old guy. It's Professor Rowing, isn't it? What's he doing here? You could just, just ask that to him instead yeah. of me. They tried going into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. You two. You truly love Pokemon, don't you? Yes. Me too, I love Pokemon. I will ask you once again. You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? What? Uh, what? You uh, can ask a hundred times and the answer will never change. We both, uh, uh, we both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, gaming? Yeah, sure. A pair of reckless uh, kids who uh, foolishly tried to enter Talk Rash without Pokemon of their own. It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I am. Um, well then, forget about me, but give uh, a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried going into the tall grass and the doll. How big of you? Very well then. I will entrust you with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through the exercise. However, you must promise me that you'll never recklessly endanger yourselves ever again. Like by going and stopping some, uh, I don't know, evil organization hell bent on destroying reality and rebuilding it using legendary Pokemon of time and space. No, then. Hmm? Nowhere. Professor Rowan! You left your briefcase at the lake! Oh, is something wrong here? Oh no, that was close. No, back me. 
No, where, where's... Bad on. Shit. Oh, there it is, Don. Nice work. What I was supposed to do was uh, to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? It was Pokemon I had to uh, replace. Are you sure about <laughs> giving them away to some murdered children you only just met five seconds ago? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when the people should meet Pokemon. He's off his meds again, we need to act should probably give him his meds. There is a world or that to should be explored together. For them today, it's that time, their place, right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan? I can't believe it, I'm so happy now that I can't keep a straight face. That's what you get home. Yeah. Well, gay does actually mean happy. True. Hey, hey gaming, you choose, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. Yeah, fuck you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you deserve your name. You you have earned your names right. Namesake. So, our starters to choose from are... Hold on. Tertwig. Chimchar. Cheers. And the most adorable of all... Plimplup. Cheers. Fuck you. One choice here and it's Tertwig. Tertwig is basically easy mode. Chimchar is one of the uh, only good fire type Pokemon in all of Diamond, Pearl and Platinum in the uh, um, Sinnoh decks. And Plimplup is nice. It's a unique typing and it's adorable. I'm going to go with Chimchar though because I, I hardly ever used Chimchar. Like when I was younger, uh, the two Pokemon I used were Plimplup and uh, Tertwig. I hardly ever used Chimchar. I haven't either, and I don't ever plan to. Then I choose you. I'm picking this Plimplup. Dick. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they are much like you. Noobs. Absolute noobs who know nothing and probably are gonna die. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in the Sandgem town. And now we'll be on our way. Professor! Wait for me, please! I'm sorry, please let me pass! But I'm not in your way. Dumb bitch. How do you like that? Professor Rowan is uh, really nice. On TV he seems so stern and scary. No, he's just an old man. Hey, hey, gaming, we've both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do. Go get ice cream! <laughs> right, are you up for this? No. What's <laughs> with uh, that t attitude? Don't be that way! Hey, hey, gaming, we've both got Pokemon now. There's only fun with it. Yeah, fine. I've always wanted to say this. The, the time has finally come. Gaming, I challenge you to a battle! <laughs> also, something I want to mention here quickly, while we're just doing the first uh, battle. Um, Barry is constantly trying to become stronger. Now does that remind you of anyone in particular? Anyone from the <laughs> Generation 5 anime who was stupid and a bit of a whiny bitch? Bianca. That was a boy and it uh, constantly uh, um, and then they switched his opinion about Alder. He first he sta he loved Alder, then he hated Alder. Cameron? Yes! Because he basically is uh, Barry, just with the Alder complex. I oh, fuck you with your leers, Chimchar. I'm just getting growled, so I, I'm just doing no damage. I'm just hoping for a crit. Crit. 
Oh fuck! He just keeps using live. Stop! I, do, I know he's just gonna hit you once and you die. <laughs> well, to be fair, I used withdraw the first two turns to try and mm. actually get some. Pimplop won't stop growling me. Okay, now Pimplop's pound. The male Pimplop is pounding my male Chimchar. Hmm. <laughs> oh Christ! Oh, here we go. Here's the scratch that does. Jeez, I did nine damage. That's actually pretty good for a level five on five. I'm doing like one damage. Crit, 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 hey. crit, crit, crit. I gave 69 experience. <laughs> Come on, fucking crit. Jesus, it's on like zero health. If I don't crit, I think I'm going to die. I'm dead. Wow, you actually lost the first I hour. couldn't do anything to Plimplop. <laughs> if I had critted, then I would have been able to do something, but I couldn't... I just didn't get the crit. I just needed one crit, crit, and I would have won. Yeah, yeah. Excuses. Fuck you. It wasn't actually really handy to get have that potion at a point in time, actually. Mm. <laughs> I think that's pretty much the only time that potion would have been that would have come in handy before actually being able to get potions. Actually, isn't it? Oh no, I didn't want to do that. My only problem with this is that I don't like playing with a keyboard and I can't use my controller because I already tried using my controller. Oh yeah, running shoes. Um I'm using my controller. Yeah, but I tried using my GameCube controller and it wouldn't work, so I'll probably try and get it to work later on, but I don't know why I just couldn't get it to work. I'm using my PS2 one. Yeah, I have um, a third-party GameCube controller, in my, so I don't know what's going on. I'll try using like my actual GameCube controller so with the um, converter I have. Mm. You're too slow, gaming. I'm uh, sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Owen so I can thank him properly. So I uh, had uh, this great idea. Listen up, okay. You know what uh, that's Layaka where we always play at? You know how they uh, say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it, let's catch our Pokemon with no Pokeballs at all, with uh, astronomically low odds of actually catching it, even if we did have Pokeballs. We need to get a go further. Now, fun fact here, um, with, with my cartridge I used to use an action replay to get the bike um, at the beginning of the game, <laughs> so I didn't have to wait till I get, till I get the running shoes. Um, and if you use the bike here, um, Barry will actually go have a hit animation will speed up even faster and it looks really silly. Oh. Fun fact, in Diamond and Pearl, this is where you got your starter, not um, in that encounter with Rowan, because that encounter with Rowan never happened in the, the Diamond and Pearl. Okay. Yeah, they realised that the starter encounter in Diamond and Pearl was shit, so they made it better, slightly better. It wasn't shit, but it wasn't the best. Oh look, Cyrus, I wonder what he's going to yeah. do. Uh, I'll, I missed a bit of the text, but I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember, who are you talking to? Until then, sleep while you can, Legendary Pokemon. Well, if they're asleep, how can they hear you? Villain monologue. Hmm. He's speaking to himself. Evil villain monologue. Allow me to pass. Step aside, me, children. What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, gaming, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Kim! Well, actually, it's actual cry in the game is more like, Whoa, what? And not Kion. Dick! Explanation mark. Did you hear that, gaming? Question mark. That was a legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Uh, we don't have any Pokeballs. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us to catch. We, you know, Pokeballs. P O K E accent E balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan would give us uh, some if we asked him? 
No, especially considering you've got the stupid idea of trying to catch Azel. Yeah, just like, hey, can, hey, Mario, can you give us Pokeballs to try and catch Azel? It's just like, stupid child. You've just got, you've just been given a char, Chimchar. Yeah. You're not going to catch. Well, no, we got the Plimplop. Well, for me, it's Chimchar, so. You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we need anything. Okay, gaming, I'll race you. First one to the professor's lab in the San Jim Town walls. Blue, beep. Oh wait! I I think I remembered something. What? I'll tell you in a minute if I when I confirm it, but I might just be misrem misremembering. Also, I want to catch B do for for as a HM slave. I'm full back here. Um, in the entirety of Pokemon, um, Plimplop is uh, well, Diamond Pearl and Platinum. And Plimplop is the best HM uh, slots. Yeah, HM uh, slave. Also, I got a crit on Beedoof when I didn't need it. But not on the... Oh, the no, it's actually useful for something. Oh, yeah, I work at the Pokemon. Mm. Oh, hey, Lucas. Hey, I got a potion from that lady. From the Pokemon. Or a boy, I don't know. So, yeah, I was remembering that correctly. Oh, Dawn. Please come with me! The professor is waiting! This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab! Let's go! Fud. What the? Oh, it's you gaming. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he taught, he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, gaming. I'm out of here, so see you later. Whoa! What's that? What was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Dicks usually are impatient. Well, anyway, <laughs> let's go inside. I think I picked the best name for my rival. Yeah. Well, well, well. Look who's here. Gaming was it? Let's have a look at your. Pokemon! Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm, interesting you with that Chimchar. Was no mistake, it seems. Professor, well, would you uh, like to give it a name? Yes. F. I. R. E. B U Is it one T or two T's in butt? Hmm? Is it one or two T's in butt? Two. Two, okay. Fire butt. Hmm, okay, I see. Are you happy with that nickname? Yes. Well, I first saw, when I first saw you were about to step into that tall grass, without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astonished by uh, these foolhardy children. But now you're, uh, you've uh, astonished me in an entirely different way. You keep saying astounded wrong. You keep yes. saying astonished, but not astounded. Potato, potato. No, it's a completely different word. Fuck you then. Alrighty, there is a uh, bond <laughs> growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Butch Fire Butch feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you where to cherish that uh, Fire Butt of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon, even though you're probably a game with the most embarrassing nickname possible. If you weren't, I'd have to. Uh, oh, I just can't say it. Dawn is secretly a savage. 
Yeah, it literally mm. goes out. Even the music stops. Yeah. Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the uh, Sino region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with uh, this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Shino for me? No. Yeah, go to the toilet and find a piece of crap. Fuck you. At least, at least you don't. At least Pokemon are literally garbage. It has more design than Bidoof. Bidoof is a meme. B Bidoof was designed to be a joke. All the basic rodent Pokemon. No, are. they're not. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Okay, maybe Bottleby isn't, but most of them are. Rattata wasn't, Ferret wasn't, uh, Zigzagoon wasn't, Crazy Eyes wasn't, Bunnelby wasn't, and Young Goose was never meant to look like Donald Trump, so that wasn't, but it turned into a joke because it looks like Donald Trump. So it's the only one I could add that you could say that was meant to be a joke from the start. I mean, uh, to be fair, so was Rattata. They yeah. gave it to the evil team of all people. Ah, I can stand here without speaking for hours. For hours, I'm a very patient man. Let me ask you again, gaming. I want to entrust you with this Pokédex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokémon and you know work for me? Fine. No. Hmm. Good answer. Gaming obtained the Pokédex. I don't know why I said it in reverse first, I just did. That Pokédex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on po every kind of Pokémon you encounter. Gaming, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokémon in this region. I've got one too! When you were walked up at Route 201, with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Is Rowan the only Pokemon professor that has an approximate age? Uh, I think Oak has one. How old is Oak then? I'll need to check, actually. Because I don't think any of them have been like, oh, I've been doing the Pokemon research for X amount of years. I'm with a Pokemon. Now we should know, you should know, that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Yeah, Game. Oak does have an approximate age. Okay. Gaming, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was Teetwig! If you would have chosen Teetwig on Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now! But no, we wouldn't, would you have a Piplup? Which would actually be closer to the game's canon! The uh, anime's canon! Now, well, that it matter, not that it matters, but. Anyway, I'm Dawn. I also hope the professor add pages to the Pokédex. So in there he says I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, gaming. I'm starting to feel lightheaded. <laughs>